Welcome to the land of Dixie. You'll see that name a lot around affluent San Rafael on new schools and particularly on this old one. These were basically the people that put the buildings together back in the day. As Tom Rokes of the old Dixie Schoolhouse Museum knows well, this is a charming place built in 1863. And now it's also the point of origin for a 21-year-old debate coming around again. Dixie is sort of a southern term, but it doesn't necessarily have the connotation of racism in itself. It's a reference to the uh, slavery. It is an insult. Uh, if you had the Hitler school, it was named for somebody else named Hitler, would you keep that? I doubt it. Noah Griffin and Carrie Pearson, two Marin County activists who object not so much to the old school being named Dixie, but to the district being named after the old school. There are a lot of stories about how this Dixie schoolhouse got its name. One of them, that when James Miller donated the land and put up the structure, he used friends of his from the South for labor. One version, that they were simply paying tribute to where they came from. I don't buy the theory because there are facts. Marnie Glickman of the Dixie School Board brought documentation today that she says proves they named the schoolhouse in tribute to the Confederacy. Dixie is a synonym for the Confederacy and everyone knows that. So now a renewed effort for a district name change to reflect present values, a move akin to the removal of Confederate statues in the South. What do you want them to do? Change the name. To? Uh, that's uh, up to them. The issue is now on the superintendent's radar. Do you see a d direct connotation between the name Dixie and the Confederacy? I do. <laughs>